What is going on guys, Miles here and today we're going to be looking at the upcoming weapon changes which will be available in the next Infinite Warfare multiplayer patch, let's do this. So as of right now these aren't actually in the game because the developers sort of delayed the patch but we do know what will be coming in the next update as this was posted by a developer themselves and there's around like 8 weapon changes which will be made to the game and the first one is for the type 2 in assault rifle mode which has a slight increase to the fire rate and a decrease to the aim down sights recoil. I personally am pretty happy with this change because I like the Type 2, although I did think it wasn't the best assault rifle in the game and that it was outclassed by the K-Bar and the MV4, so hopefully the Type 2 will be on par as like one of the best assault rifles in the game as the K-Bar and the MV4 have actually been nerfed, which I'll go over very soon. But first, the Volk has actually been buffed as it now has an increased 3 bullet kill range and I'm not a huge fan of the Volk personally, uh, it seemed to have a really slow fire rate for me which I just really didn't like to use in games so I'm pretty happy to see this weapon buffed and I didn't think it was that OP to begin with so once again hopefully it'll be a lot more balanced now. The Titan light machine gun has also been buffed as it now has an increased fire rate and an increase to the 4 bullet kill range which is pretty good to see because LMGs were okay in this game and honestly I don't think the Titan needed that much of a buff but it is quite nice to see as not a ton of people use that weapon in the game and we don't know how much the fire rate was increased but I would guess maybe between like 5 and 10% so probably not too much because that would make it super OP but a nice amount to hopefully make it more viable in game. The K-Bar 32 has a decreased 4 bullet kill range which is a slight nerf to the weapon, it's not going to be huge and hopefully it won't like just break the gun completely and I really doubt that just by looking at the description for this patch but I think it was necessary as the K-Bar was ridiculously good in multiplayer. As for the MV4, the gun now has increased recoil and it didn't really have much recoil to begin with and I don't think it will have a ton after this patch is actually released because the MV4 is sort of known for having barely any recoil, that's sort of like the gun's sort of niche. So I don't think they'll increase the recoil a lot but I think maybe using foregrip will be a pretty good idea on the MV4 after this patch. The Widowmaker has seen a tiny buff as it now has a reduced delay between bullets within a single burst and I don't think I've ever used the Widowmaker, I'm not a huge sniper in the game so I'm not exactly sure how much this is going to affect the weapon but I think it was a pretty decent gun to begin with so I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't a huge change but it is a slight buff to the sniper. There are also more sniper buffs as the DMR has a slight decrease to aim down sights time. Probably not going to be game breaking for the weapon but it is quite a nice bonus to the weapon. And also the EBR 800 in sniper mode now has reduced ADS sway speed. And if you prefer the EBR 800 in assault rifle mode it now has an increased 5 bullet kill range. So a slight buff to the EBR 800 for the assault rifle and the sniper rifle which is pretty cool to see. And finally, the last weapon change is for the Howitzer, which has been nerfed. I'm just joking, that gun was absolute crap, and if it got nerfed, it probably wouldn't actually exist, because it would just be nothingness. Uh, the Howitzer has been buffed, as its explosion radius has been increased, and its damage is more consistent, which I know a lot of people are going to be happy about, because a lot of people who were going for like the Dark Matter camo in Infinite Warfare, they were struggling with the Howitzer, because the gun was absolute trash. So now, hopefully, getting the Dark Matter camo, or the Black Sky, whatever you want to call it, should be a lot easier to do, which I know you guys will like. But there we have it, they were all of the weapon changes which will be available in the next Infinite Warfare multiplayer patch. Let me know what you think of these changes down in the comments below which one is your favourite. And if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty. But I'll see you guys in my next video.